everyone. Again, welcome to our week 6 in grade 10 mathematics. Week 6 is entitled Division of Polynomials. So please prepare the following, your module 7, your notebook, your ball pen, and of course yourself. So for this week, um, uh, the learners will be able to first is divide polynomials using long division and synthetic division then prove the remainder theorem factor theorem and the rational root theorem so let's define first what is a polynomial so a polynomial is an expression uh, of the form a sub n x to the power of n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x to the power of n minus 2 plus up to a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 and a sub n is not equal to 0 where the non-negative integer n okay again take note non-negative integer n is called the degree of the polynomial and coefficients a sub 0 a sub 1 up to a sub n are real numbers okay so that's the uh, definition the definition of polynomial so let's answer activity one so can you identify which of the following expressions are polynomials put a check on the indicated box if the given is a polynomial and cross cross it out if not Okay, so you can pause this video uh, while you are answering. Okay, let's answer. Activity 1. Again, the definition of the polynomial is a non-negative integer n. And the, uh, the coefficients are real numbers. Okay, number 1. Is this a polynomial? Okay, very good. This is a polynomial. How about the second? 3 square root of x plus 2. Okay, very good. This is not a polynomial because, again, not negative integer n. So, if you're going to simplify square root of x, that is, the best square root of x is equivalent to x to the power of 1 half. Again, 1 half is not an integer. So, therefore, this expression is not a polynomial. How about negative x squared plus 3x? Of course, it is correct. Uh, the fourth one, x to the power of negative 3 plus 4x minus 5. Of course, this is not a polynomial. Again, the exponent is negative. Again, non-negative integer. How about number 5? 4x cubed minus 3x squared plus x squared root of 3. Okay, of course, this is a polynomial. How about number 6? 2x. This is 2x cubed, ha? Huh? Again, this is 2x cubed. This is not 2x3. Okay, this is a polynomial. How about number 7? Of course, this is a polynomial. How about number 8? Of course, number 8 is not a polynomial. Why? Because if we're going to see... Uh, the variable, if you want to say pi babaw, it will become 3x to the power of negative 1 no? plus 5. So, therefore, this is not a polynomial. How about number 9? Of course, this is not a polynomial also. Kaya atong exponent is 2 to the power of uh, 2 thirds. Then, number 10, of course, this is a polynomial. Again, a polynomial, idili siya, okay, ha, non negative integer. Wala siya negative ng exponent o wala siya fraction nga exponent. Okay? Next. So, there are two ways to divide polynomials. We have long division and synthetic division. So, what is long division? So, dividing polynomials using long division has the same process with long division of whole numbers. So, there are steps in dividing polynomials using long division. First is arrange the dividend and the divisor in decreasing powers of exponents. 
Insert zeros as coefficient of the missing terms of each polynomial if necessary. Again, i-arrange nyo mo siya una in decreasing powers. Then, dapat kompleto iya ang mga terms, no? Kung wala, put zero. Then, divide the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. Multiply the partial quotient to the divisor. Number four, step four, subtract the result from the dividend. Step five, bring down the next term in the dividend. And lastly, repeat the process until done. So now apply the steps in solving the problem in your module. Okay? So again, in long uh, division of polynomials, using long division, this is just the same as dividing a whole number. Okay? So let's apply now the steps in dividing polynomials using long division. Okay, so you have to arrange first no, the dividend and also the divisor if the powers are decreasing. So the same no pag divide sa tong whole numbers 3x cubed plus x squared minus 38x plus 24 divide x minus 3. Okay, again, dapat ang atong exponent kay decreasing. So, 3, 2, 1, and a constant. Now, if kulang gani siya, you will just put 0. So, again, the steps kay divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. No, Your dad, your mom, your sister, and your brother. So, first step is you have to divide first term divide first term, first term of dividend and first term of your divisor. So, 3x cubed, the first term of your dividend is 3x cubed divide x. That is 3 divide 1, no? Da, may imaginary 1 dira, that is 3. x cubed divide x, that is x squared. Why x squared? Again, in dividing, no? The loss of exponents, no? In division of exponents, kung mag divide, you have to subtract your exponent. So, 3 minus 1, that is 3x squared. So, where should we put 3x squared? So, dapat the same niya, ang ka-level niya or katungod niya is ang the same niya terms. So, we will put here 3x squared. Okay, kinaman din ang x squared. Then, 3x squared times x is 3x cubed. 3, uh, 3x squared times negative 3 is negative 9x squared. Okay, after some multiply, subtract. So, 3 minus 3 is 0. Then, kana 1 minus negative 9. 1 minus negative 9. What is 1 minus negative 9? So, it will become plus. And it will become plus. So, 1 plus plus 9, that is 10. So, that is 10x squared. So, after you're subtracting, bring down. So, you will bring down the minus 38x. Pagkahuman. After is, balik na sa divide. So, you will divide the first term. Divide the first term. So, that is 10x squared. Divide x. 10 divide 1 is 10. x squared divide x. Very good. That is x. So, that is positive, no? Positive. Okay, positive man ang sign din, no? Positive 10x. So, after divide, multiply. 10x times x is 10x squared minus 10x min times negative 3. That is 30x. Then, you have to sub minus so, that is negative 38, negative 38, minus negative 30. Okay, so, so, may morning plus, then may morning plus. So, negative 38 plus positive 30 is, okay, very good, that is negative 8. So, negative 8x. So, negative 8x, bring down as it's a 24 plus 24. So, negative 8x, divide 
x. So, that is negative mandira, no? That is negative 8, no? Again, negative 8x divide x. So, that is negative 8. No, again, 1 minus 1 is x to the power of 0, no? x to the power of 0 mana. So, x to the power of 0 is just 1. So, that is just negative 8. Then, multiply na sad. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x plus 24. No? Negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. So, okay, minus na si mo. Ma-0 na danan. So, therefore, the quotient of our um, 3x cubed plus x squared minus 38x plus 24 divide x minus 3 is equal to 3x squared plus 10x minus 8. Now, again, you can replay this part of our video. Okay, next. Okay, so our... Um, second example, we have negative 2x squared plus x cubed minus 75 divide x minus 5. So first is you have to arrange your dividend and your divisor. So for your dividend, that is x cubed minus 2x squared. Okay, that is plus 0x minus 75. Okay, then divide by x minus 5. No, again, the buying ko kaganina, dapat i-arrange ni mo siya. If locking ang yung terms, dapat mag-add ka ang 0. Again, sa atong given, no, walay x nga term. So, dapat atong butangan para makomplete ang atong uh, polynomial. So, we will put 0x. So, again, the, the same again, no, divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So, x cubed divide x, that is x squared. So, x squared times x is x cubed minus x squared times 5 is 5x squared. That is, okay, that is cancelled, no? That is negative, what is negative 2 minus negative 5? So, my one is siyang plus, my put name plus, so that is 3, no? Tama? Okay, so that is 3x squared. Bring down 0x. Now you bring down. 3x squared divide x. So that is 3x plus 3x. So again, no, kung mag-divide ganita, e minus ang exponent. 3x times x is 3x squared. 3x times negative 5 is negative 15. Okay, x. Okay, 0, 10 minus, what is 10 minus negative 15? So, my morning plus, my morning plus. So, it will become, oh, sorry, this is 0 minus negative 15, that is 0, but then, you know, that is 0 minus negative, this is positive 15x. Then, bring down, bring down the negative 75. Okay, so 15x divide x, that is positive 15. So, that is 15 times x is 15x. 15 minus times negative 5 is, that is negative 75. Okay, that is 0. Okay, so our quotient is x squared plus 3x plus 15. Okay, next. Okay, so divide 3x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed plus 3 by 3x cubed minus x squared minus x minus 1. Okay, so again, 3x to the power of 4 minus 4x cubed. Again, dapat decreasing note, constant yung sunod. So, dapat mag 0x squared plus 0x plus 3 divide by to siya divide by okay complete na no 3 to 1 no 
3x square 3x cube minus x squared minus x minus 1 okay so first term 3x to the power of 4 divide 3x cube is x no tama okay that is x so there no again no 3x to the power of 4 divide 3x cube no that is of course the divide 3 is 1 x to the power of 4 divide x to the is x so x times 3x cube is 3x to the power of 4 minus x cube minus x squared minus x okay so again no it times name isa isa so minus of negative 4 minus may okay, din natin no mag plus may morning plus may morning plus okay may morning plus okay negative 4 plus 1 uh, negative 4 x cube plus positive x cube is negative 3 x cube Okay, this is plus x squared plus x bring down 3 then divide aside the no that is what is negative 3x cube divide 3x cube is negative 1 so times again po na 3x cube plus x squared plus x plus uh, 1 Minus, so we cancel and 0, 0. So what is 3 minus 1 is 2. So therefore, na atay remainder. Our remainder is 2. So to, in writing your final answer, that is the quotient. That is, uh, our quotient is x minus 1 plus remainder divide the divisor. 3x cubed minus x squared minus x minus 1 okay so that's for our last example in long division you can replay our examples okay next okay so let's proceed now to another method in dividing polynomials which is uh, synthetic division it is a process that makes use of numerical coefficients in dividing polynomials in which the divisor is a binomial in the form x minus c. So these are the steps in dividing polynomials using synthetic division. Step 1. Arrange the coefficients of the dividend in descending powers of x, placing zeros for the missing terms. Next, the top row contains the coefficients of the dividend in descending power of x. On the leftmost, separated by an inverted L shape, put the value indicator. Third, bring down the leading coefficient below the line, and this will be the leading coefficient of the quotient. Multiply the number below the line to the value indicator, and place the product below the coefficient of the next term of the dividend. Add the two that would be the next coefficient of the quotient. Then repeat step four until the last number below the line is obtained. Then write the quotient. The quotient is one degree lower than the div lower than the dividend the last number in the is the in the quotient side is the remainder okay so let's apply these steps let's apply now the steps so first is you have to check now if the terms are complete so we have x cube we have x squared we have x and also the constant so we'll write the coefficient of our div the dividend we have one negative four 1 and 6. Then, at a number diri sa kilid using our divisor. So, ato lang na equate to 0. So, x equals 2. No, ato lang i-transpose. No? From negative, it will become positive. So, we will put 2 here. Okay? So, first is, you have to uh, put out 0 diri. Then, we will add. No? 1 plus 0 is 1. Next is 2, kaning 2, you multiply na to sa yang sum kaganina. Multiply, no? 2 times 1, 
dayon ibutang ni modere so that is 2 times 1 is 2 after balak din kadan din na paubos i plus negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 same na sad i times sa sad ni modera 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 paubos sa sad plus this is negative 3 then 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 then plus na sad this is 0 so this is the remainder your constant your x and your x squared again maguna kita ka remainder no so okay constant x and x squared so the quotient is x squared minus kaya negative man minus 2x minus 3 so this is our quotient okay again una ta dere no sa 0 pag i plus na times da yun sa ka dere no isa ka dere so again, una ta din no, paubos, paubos. Dayon. Answer dayon, it times and there is a 2, saka na sa dira, ana, saka, ana, ana lang. Okay? So our dividend is x cubed minus x squared plus, two, plus 50, then our divisor is x plus 3. So as you can see, our dividend is not complete, no? So we have x cubed, x squared, x and your constant your x cube is 1 x squared is uh, negative 1 our x is wala no that is 0 our constant is 50 then our tong i divide by negative 3 okay no x plus 3 man that is x calls negative 3 pag transpose is okay, 0 dayon that is 1 plus na dira no then it times and dira no it times Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. No? Negative 1 plus negative 3 is negative 4. Negative 3 times negative 4 is positive 12. Then 12. 12 times 3 is negative 36. So, at least 50 minus 36, that is 14. Tama? Okay, so this is our remainder, our constant, our x, and our x squared. So our final answer is, our quotient is x squared minus 4x plus 12 plus atong remainder over divisor x plus 3. Okay, so that's for the synthetic division.